with Carmelo Anthony, who has finally broken free from the Knicks and is currently with the OKC Thunder, as we mentioned earlier in the show. Now the Knicks are considered Kristaps Porzingis' team. Keisha, is Porzingis ready to be the face of the New York Knicks? Uh, well, Mike, he doesn't have a choice at this point. <laughs> he has to be ready. He is the face of the franchise. It was Carmelo, but, you know, the, the Knicks were building with the idea of making Chris Stops the face of the franchise. So now that day is here, and we'll see if he can handle it. On the court, he's, you know, he's a, definitely a skilled player. He still can improve, and, and he's young. So he can still improve and be you know phenomenal on the court but the off the court is going to be the most interesting because all with Carmelo Anthony and Phil Jackson gone who absorbed a lot of the media attention at criticism and uh, applause alike now it's Chris Stapps and it's going to be interesting to see how he can handle the, the bright lights of the media especially in the New York City market it's one of the largest markets in the country and it can be ruthless if you mess up you will be splattered on all of the pages with the funny headlines that I like to look at in the morning while I'm making my coffee and heating up my breakfast so um Ask Matt Harvey, because he has been the subject of some really brutal headlines. So, Mike, time will tell. Yeah, you know, to go back to Brooke Lopez, I think, who's now in Los Angeles Lakers, with the Los Angeles Lakers, one of the things with Brooke Lopez that he was able to do is, while he was here with the Nets over the last several seasons, all that losing, night in, night out, it gets to you, and you got to go in and give the post-game interview and all that. And this is going to be a tough season for the Knicks have ahead of themselves. There's no question about that. My question is with Przingis, how is he going to handle that? Because here you have a player who's very young, trying to grow on a very young team at the same time. When those losses pile up, when you've lost 7 out of 10 games, how is that enthusiasm going to carry over to make your teammates better, make yourself better, make the team better overall as you face what could be be possibly a, 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 you know, I hate to say it, but 45, maybe even a 50 loss season as the Knicks get ready to face what's really now a more competitive Eastern Conference than it's been in the past. But I hope nothing but for the best for this kid. I think he averaged 14 points his rookie year. It was 18 last season. So his numbers have steadily grown over the course of the couple seasons. Defensively, he's got it. I mean, he can play pretty good defense and he's shown some toughness. So, like you said, Kisa, I'll, I'll finish what you, with what you said. He better be ready because he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> 